A sophomore at Cranbrook is about to blow your mind and possibly save humanity. Michelle Hua just took home the top spot in a major international science competition. Our Jamie Edmonds shows us tonight. Michelle and one of her classmates are both proving the future really is female. When Michelle Hua first told me about her number one worldwide winning science project, I said, first of all, you're going to have to explain that to me again in layman's terms. But once I got it, I realized how cool it is. Cranbrook sophomore Michelle Hua's science project won the regional and state competitions. She found out today she was the top winner of the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. So what did she do to beat out 1,800 participants from around the world? I used the actual presentation of silhouettes. So I extract the silhouettes of the human and then stack it into a cloud so there's a lot of silhouettes and um, my algorithm finds the pattern in the silhouette shapes and the silhouette changes to recognize action. Hua says it's her gymnastics or lack thereof during the pandemic that inspired her. We had online gymnastics so it was really hard to like see through Zoom and make sure everyone's doing it correctly. Judges deemed Hua project a fundamental contribution to the field of machine learning with applications in artificial intelligence and get this she's the first girl to win the top prize in a decade um, I know for autonomous driving it's very important because it can recognize actions of pedestrians was Cranbrook schools classmate also impressed junior Margaret Yang received first place in the international competition so my project was to engineer biomass for biofuel production and this year is also due to COVID. I use mathematical predictions to predict what the most the, what the most optimal enzyme would be and what the ASCAF PSCAF display level would be. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Both girls say they hope to be role models for a younger generation of females in STEM. In Farmington, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.